that time of week again. It is that time for me to sign my check. So that's what I'm going to be doing. It's Friday. It's payday. It's yay day. I called today at work, Frenzy Friday, because it was just, I was running everywhere, and people wanted this, and people wanted that, and the things I actually wanted to get done today at work, I didn't do, because everybody just kind of, like, expects me, I mean, not at work, but, like, customers and brokers and all that, they expect me to drop everything and help them right away. And if they don't, then they call and they complain, why isn't this done, and blah, blah, blah. So, but yeah, that was, my day was that. So it was just, it was busy today. I was just like, I don't really want to like deal with anybody. But luckily, it was mostly emails and not phone calls. I don't like phone calls. I'm one of those people. So, just this week was kind of like mediocre, except for today. Today was just horrible. So, other than that, I pretty much had a good week. Um, nothing really new to report that happened to me. Um, I'm dying. It says it's 86 degrees outside and it was supposed to be like cloudy and a little bit cooler today so that's why I'm wearing a long sleeve and it's a little bit of a thicker one but oh my goodness I'm just I'm warm. I'm so beyond warm. So but what can you do? So tomorrow is actually very exciting. Um I my brother, me, my brother, um, and a couple of co-workers of his, Chelsea, which, uh, and Daryl, which is going to be one of our roommates if, um, when we move out. We are traveling to Sacramento, where I was born and raised. Um, I can tell you guys that part. I just won't tell you where I live now. Um, but we're going up to Sacramento, and... I'm going to be getting another tattoo. It's called a triskelion. It's Celtic and it can mean a whole bunch of different things that you want it to mean for you. It can mean the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It can mean, you know, Father, Mother, Child. It can mean mind, body, soul, um, past, present, future. So if you look it up, the meanings, the there's several, but for me, it's going to be past, present, and future. It's kind of like a reminder that your past is your past. You're not always going to forget it. There might be parts that you can overcome, whatever. Um, but your present can either make a better future, or if you allow yourself to get stuck in that past, it will always, you know, be horrible. And then the future is just... A reminder to just make it better you know whether it's one of the simplest things that you can do just make it a better future for yourself and so that is what mine is going to mean and I got mine off of Google the image that I want so um, if you don't know what it is oh, I can draw it for you guys Oh, this is so exciting. It's not going to be the best drawing in the world because I can't even draw a stick figure to make it look good. Sorry. But it's kind of like you start off in the middle. And then you have right that way. They have another one kind of like going that way. Wow, this like really sucks. But it looks like that. Just, just like a lot better. Trust me, if you look it up on Google, you'll find much better images. So, but mine kind of has like, when it's on your neck, it kind of looks like it dropped and it splattered some. But, and the lines are a little bit thicker, so I'm going to have them like thin it out a little bit and have the paint splatter stand out a little bit more than what they are. And then, 
um, the paint splatters, I kind of want them to be different colors. So it's going from like black into like a bright green, a bright blue, and a bright orange. I want three different colors. Um, so yeah, and I'm getting it like actually on the base of my neck and not like lower on my back. So it's going, you don't, at least for me, I don't have a lot of skin there. Um, but I know like kind of like where the circles are going, it's not going to be hitting direct bone. So it's not going to hurt right there as much. And, um, you know, everybody's pain, their threshold of pain is, it's different for everybody. And for me, mine is a little bit lower, so I can't handle a lot of pain. So I just need someone to distract me or give me their hand so I can squeeze the living hell out of it. And my brother has kind of volunteered for that. I have asked him, and at first he said no, and I said, please. And then he said yes. And I figured, and if that doesn't happen, then I'll bring my phone, and I'll just look there and just play games. I'll play solitaire, bingo, puzzles. Just, I need something to take my mind off of it. But since it's not so big, and it's not going to be so thick, I'm not going to be sitting in the chair for like two hours getting it done. It's probably going to be close to an hour, but it's not going to be as bad. Like, I have one on my farm, which I'll take it now and show you. So I have that one. I have no idea if I'm getting it all or not. That one, I think, took close to an hour to do. And then I have one on my leg, which is my horoscope sign, which I'm in Aries. And that one took maybe like 20 minutes. But it's smaller. So yeah. And if you and if you're distracted and not thinking about it, then before you know it, the tattoo's over. And I mean, yeah, it's needles, you know, like a little row of needles stabbing you into the skin a couple hundred thousand times a second. But it's like initially it it hurts and then after a while, it's like you kind of get a little bit numb. And then at the end, it's like, wow, you kind of have like a little throbbing dull pain, but then it goes away within like an hour, if that, maybe less. And then you're sitting there thinking, why was I complaining about the pain? Because then before you know, it's like after that day's over, it's like, oh, wow, you know. Oh, I got a little scared. I saw a bean. I wasn't sure if it was inside or outside, but it's outside sweet so um, yeah so that's my weekend it's Saturday tomorrow I'm going to go get a tattoo um, we have an appointment about 4 o'clock they're open until 10 um, it's called fat cats tattoo and it's actually where I got my previous tattoos um, so for like regular customers basically all of my moms, all of mine, all of my brothers, and one of my dad, no, two of my dads, we've all gone to Fat Cat's Tattoo. And they're super nice. And they do really go, 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 great quality work. And you won't leave there disappointed. It's not one that you're going to need to go get covered up or have it fixed or whatever so you get your money's worth so when I get it um, I don't know like how I'm going to like show you I guess um, so I might oh I don't know how I'm gonna do this how I'm gonna like show you guys but maybe if you guys are really interested in knowing what it's going to look like at the end, I will be posting a picture of it on my Instagram. And if you really want to know, just comment down below if you want to know so you can see it. And I will put my name down there at some point or reply to you in my comments letting you know what my Instagram name is. So... Um, I'm going to now go because I really want to go home, but I have to deposit this check first. So I'm going to go do that, and then I'm going to go home and relax. Today's not my shower day. I showered yesterday. So, yay. I can just go home, change, relax, and 
um, talk more with my brother just to make sure we have a finalized plan of when we're going to be leaving and if we need to meet anybody there and blah 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 so I hope oh I need to think of a thing um oh the fact about me I almost like totally forgot I'll just tell you like a random like what my favorite Okay, I'll tell you what my favorite um type of meat is. And no, I don't mean it sexually, so don't even get that idea. I meant whether it's beef, pork, chicken, um anything like that. I love corned beef. It's probably my favorite. We only do ever have it around um, St. Patrick's Day. My father doesn't care for it. My brother, I think, just like tolerates it. You know, it's, it's food. But me and my mom, we like it. I really, really love it. And it's great. And you can make a sandwich out of it the next day. And it's just so yummy. But it has a lot of sodium. So... But yeah, I love corned beef, and my dad is always surprised that it's, like, my favorite, you know, besides beef, besides pork. I'm not really big on pork. I mean, I, I like barbecued pork chops, but that's usually about it. Um, I love chicken, whether it's baked. I don't like the shake and bake, um, but I like it barbecued, and I like it with, if it's, like, seasoned and then baked. In, um, in the oven and beef I like steak I like the tri-tip roast tri-tip steaks um, I do like turkey as well but again we only have that um, at Thanksgiving and then ham we have that I think Easter and Christmas and I mean I'll eat it but again it's not my favorite. Sorry piggies, I like you more as animals than I do as meat. So you should be happy about that. Alright, so that's it. I'm gonna go. I'm rambling and it's close to 5 o'clock. I think it's 20 minutes till. Um, so yeah. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Um, again, I will post a picture when my tattoo is looking pretty and not bloody and all that. So after I put like lotion on it. Um, I will eventually be making a video um, talking about my tattoos, my experience, you know, getting them, all that, and how to take care of them. So um, I just don't know when I'm going to do that, but that is one of my um, planned videos. I'll probably do that before the year's over. It'll probably be one of my like next couple, probably after my October favorites. Okay, I will talk to you guys in my next video. I'm going to be doing an outfit of the day video tomorrow. And um, yeah, so I will talk to you guys then.